While visiting the spectacular and spirited metropolis of New York City, tourists are often enveloped in the city's vibrant energy, iconic landmarks, and diverse culinary delights. But to fully savor the essence of the city, there are certain faux pas that visitors should avoid. Join Vucation as we present Top Things That Tourists Should Never Do in New York City. Blocking Sidewalks New York City is incessantly bustling, and the sidewalks serve as major thoroughfares for locals rushing to their destinations. Abruptly stopping or slowly ambling can obstruct the flow of pedestrian traffic and irritate fast-moving New Yorkers. Tourists should try to step aside to a quieter spot or an alcove if they need to check their phones, maps, or just take a moment to decide their next step taking photos in busy areas. It's understandable that tourists want to capture their memories in the city, but stopping in busy areas or streets, especially Times Square, can disrupt the flow of people and even cause accidents. When taking photos, tourists should find a spot out of the way of foot traffic or go to less crowded areas relying only on taxis. While taxis are a popular mode of transport, they can be expensive and, during peak hours or in heavy traffic, slow. New York City has an extensive and efficient public transit system, including buses and subways, which can often be faster and are significantly cheaper. Tourists should consider purchasing a metro card and studying subway maps to navigate the city like a local and save some money. Eating only at chain restaurants New York City is a gastronomical paradise, home to many diverse and unique dining options, ranging from high-end restaurants to food trucks. Restricting yourself to familiar chain restaurants means missing out on the culinary treasures the city offers. Street peddlers The city's streets are often filled with vendors and people offering free items like CDs or artwork. Engaging with or accepting these items from aggressive peddlers can lead to uncomfortable situations, where tourists are pressured to pay for what they thought was free. A polite but firm no thank you and walking away is usually the best approach to avoid such encounters. Avoiding Neighborhoods Manhattan is often the focal point for tourists, but New York City is composed of five distinct boroughs, each offering unique experiences. Brooklyn has a rich cultural scene and diverse neighborhoods like Williamsburg and Dumbo. Queens is home to Flushing Meadows, Corona Park, and is a melting pot of cuisines. The Bronx has the beautiful New York Botanical Garden and the iconic Yankee Stadium. Staten Island offers serene parks and great views of Manhattan. Exploring beyond Manhattan allows you to experience the true diversity and vibrancy of the city. Buying I Heart New York Shirts from Expensive Stores These iconic shirts are a popular souvenir but can be overpriced in tourist-heavy areas like Times Square. It's advisable to purchase them from less touristy areas or online where they tend to be cheaper. There are numerous shops outside the central tourist area that offer a wider range of affordable souvenirs. Paying for a Statue of Liberty close-up Many tourists pay for expensive cruises to see the Statue of Liberty up close, but the Staten Island Ferry offers a free ride between Manhattan and Staten Island, providing stunning views of the statue and the Manhattan skyline. It's an economical way to enjoy the iconic sights, and the ferry terminal is conveniently located at the southern tip of Manhattan. Not being alert New York is generally safe, but just like with any major city, it has its share of petty crimes like pickpocketing. Tourists should be vigilant, especially in crowded places, and keep their belongings secure, using anti-theft bags, not displaying expensive items openly, and being aware of your surroundings can help you avoid undesirable situations. Pay attention to personal belongings and stay vigilant to allow yourself to enjoy the city's attractions without unnecessary disruptions. Standing on the left on escalators In New York City, there's an unwritten rule that if you're standing on an escalator, you stand to the right side, leaving the left side open for those who are in a hurry or who prefer to walk up or down the escalator. This practice ensures efficient movement and helps prevent bottlenecks, particularly during rush hours in busy subway stations or other transit points. 
skipping museums because of suggested fees. Several museums in New York City, like the Metropolitan Museum of Art, list suggested admission prices, but visitors can pay what they wish. Tourists, especially those on a budget, should not feel compelled to pay the full suggested amount and miss experiencing the rich cultural and artistic treasures housed in these institutions. Inquiring about pay-what-you-wish options can help tourists access world-class exhibits without straining their finances. Overpacking Hotel rooms in New York City can be notably small, and navigating the city's streets, subways, and stairs with large, heavy luggage can be cumbersome. Tourists should pack efficiently, bringing only essential items and leaving unnecessary belongings at home. Only sticking to tourist spots While famous landmarks like Times Square and the Empire State Building are must-visits, New York City has a plethora of lesser-known, off-the-beaten-path gems worth exploring. Venturing into local neighborhoods, discovering unique eateries, visiting smaller museums, and exploring parks and public spaces allow tourists to experience the city's diversity and vibrancy beyond the crowded, commercialized tourist hubs. Not tipping appropriately. Tipping is a customary practice in the U.S., and service staff relies heavily on tips as a significant part of their income. In restaurants, a tip of at least 15 to 20 percent of the pre tax bill is standard. It's also customary to tip taxi drivers, hotel bell staff, bartenders, and other service providers. Tourists should familiarize themselves with tipping norms and ensure they have small denominations on hand to avoid uncomfortable situations and ensure fair compensation for services rendered. Jaywalking blindly While jaywalking is a relatively common thing among locals, doing it without caution can be dangerous due to the city's busy traffic. Tourists should always be attentive to oncoming vehicles, even when crossing smaller streets. They should also adhere to traffic signals at major intersections. Even if locals are crossing, tourists should observe the traffic and only proceed when it's safe. Being loud at night New York is nicknamed the city that never sleeps, but residential areas, especially those outside of Manhattan, can be surprisingly quiet at night. Tourists should be respectful and keep noise levels down when exploring these neighborhoods in the late hours. Avoiding loud conversations, music, or other disturbances will help maintain a harmonious environment and prevent conflicts with local residents who might be trying to sleep. Avoiding Street Food New York City has a thriving street food culture, offering a variety of delicious and affordable options from hot dogs and pretzels to international cuisines. Tourists should not miss the opportunity to experience this aspect of New York's culinary scene. Street food vendors are usually held to high sanitary standards, and enjoying a meal from a food cart can provide a tasty, quick, and economical dining option, allowing you to savor the diverse flavors of the city. Using a large map in public Unfolding a large map in the middle of a busy sidewalk immediately signals tourists, potentially attracting unwanted attention from pickpockets or scammers. You should consider using smartphone map apps or smaller pocket-sized maps that are more discreet and convenient. Fearing public transportation at night While it's crucial to stay alert and be cautious, particularly at night, New York City's public transit system, including subways and buses, is generally safe, with incidents of crime relatively low. Routes are usually well-lit and patrolled, and there are typically plenty of people around. Utilizing public transport can be a cost-effective and efficient way to explore the city after dark, as long as you remain vigilant and stay informed about the areas you're visiting. Now it's time to hear from you. When are you planning to visit New York City next? Let us know in the comments section below.